Hey, what's going on guys? Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. And right here, we have the mini projector right there, guys. Take a look at that. Very excited about this one. We're gonna take it out, we're gonna hook it up, show you what you get, and take it for a little test drive there. And again, this is Ideal USA as the company. I'll go ahead and link them down in the description box below. And again, we're really, really stoked about it here. Cool little box. If you guys remember, I did review another pair of headphones by the same company, and they were very solid, great quality. So I'm expecting the same from this. But again, we're gonna be taking it for a test drive, making sure that it's up to par with what we need. All right, so let's go ahead and get it out of this box here, take a closer look at what we get inside. As we can see here, a very, very nice case right off the bat, guys. Take a look at that. And just like all my unboxing and review videos, guys, in the description box below is gonna be the exact same product link where you can pick it up yourself, read more about it. And if they sell it in the UK, I'll link for you guys as well. I don't think we have anything else in the box and it doesn't look like it. So we have the box and our little packaging there. Let's get that out of the way real quick. And it has a nice little handle as well. So if you're watching this on YouTube, of course, you're not really sure exactly what kind of product this is. If you're watching this on Amazon, then of course it's the mini palm size projector, but it does have a little carabiner hook right here as well. Take a look at that. Gonna undo that and snap it into place and all that fun stuff. But let's go ahead and unravel it and take a look at what we get. But that is a very nice hard shell case. Very, very cool guys. As we open it on up, there we go right there. Take a look at that and we'll get close up shots. Don't worry about that. But we have right here off the bat, let's get some of this boring stuff out of the way but might be interesting to see what we get here we have a micro usb white cable round cable and that is probably going to be a solid three footer is my guess and that's probably to charge the device and that looks about two and a half three feet or so right there micro usb and here we have the remote control very nice guys which probably comes with a battery inside. Of course, we have the instruction manual, one year warranty, and probably quick start guide here. And then the box does have a little mesh net here for the holding accessories there. We do have a car charger for a cigarette adapter, and you have two USBs on that side there. Very cool. And then on this side here, we have our power plug, USB goes in here, power in here, and so of course it would go like this, so that's nice. They give you a wall adapter with that as well. So plug that in your wall, that is a US plug, but if you bought that in the UK, Canada, you guys would be running on your voltage. Very cool, guys. We're gonna get to the projector in just a second here, but we're gonna get out this part right here. They do give you a tripod as well. Very, very nice, guys. And I do actually have one of these already. They have extendable bottom here. And of course you can go up to the different lengths if you want, but you would stand that up and screw in your projector right there. And you can project on any wall, conference center, anything like that at a hotel room. Very nice guys. And it does have a little mount up here for protecting your thing. You can use that for a little point and shoot camera if you want. I've done that plenty of times. And it also has an adjustable head where you can rotate it all around. These are very, very cool little accessories right here, guys. So right here we have the projector unit and let's make sure we don't have anything else. Nice little foam pad with the inserts and then nothing else in the hard shell case there. We'll get that out of the way real quick. Logo if you didn't see that already on top. And here we have it right here, guys. Very, very cool. Again, we'll get close-up shots with all the contraptions, the side levers, the buttons, all that stuff. There is a micro USB port where you can stick in a micro SD card for your memory, the DC in exactly for charging the projector because it is battery powered. And of course the tripod mount on the bottom, which of course would screw in here. Now you don't have to use this little one if you want. You can use the one my DSLR camera is on right now. But let me give you kind of an idea of what we got here. So it would stand up like this and you adjust it so it's level obviously, and then you could rotate it backwards or to the side or whatnot. And let's go ahead and strap her on in right there. And so here we go right here, guys. It depends on what level of surface. And then you would project 
out that way there. All right, guys, let's take a little close-up look here at the product. And here is the top here, just a nice little kind of a white gloss. Coming down here again to the back micro SD card slot here, and that's gonna be the same size SD card as your GoPro cameras, etc. The very, very small, small ones. So that card again would go right in there. And then the little port closes back up there, guys. And we do have an AUX cable input here. And then we have the DC, of course. The micro USB cord goes in right here. And then I'm pretty sure this is the remote sensor here on this side. Coming over to this side is our power button here. Our, it looks like a return plus minus for probably volume or maybe raising the brightness levels. Down here would be our tripod area there, which would hook up. Our projector bulb, which is inside. And then this side looks like is either the dimmer switch or the lightning switch. I'm not sure exactly what that is quite yet. We'll get to that in the instruction manual when we take it for a little bit of a test drive here. And let's go ahead and check this guy out and see what the synopsis is, guys. All right, guys, and this is the remote control here. Kind of just your basic functions. Miracast AirPlay. Looks like we have a DLNA SIM card looking thing there. And again, I'm pretty sure this comes with a Yes, it does, because you just slip this little plastic piece out. So there is a battery in the controller already, which is good. And then this is gonna be our car cigarette adapter here. USB 1, USB 2 slot there. So that's really cool that they give you that as well. All right, guys, before we do fire it up, I do want to run by you a couple specifications of the projector unit. And I want to describe to you guys exactly what you're getting in here. Now, real quickly, the dimensions of the actual projector are 2.95 inches by 2.95 inches by 1.47 inches tall. And then of course it's 2.5, it's pretty much a square all the way around. And the focus is handling, so there's that little knob on the side for focusing. It has an LED driver, DPP2607. The Wi-Fi is RTL8192DU802.11 ABG or N, 2.4 gigahertz to 5 gigahertz, 2T2R, the battery inside of the projector is a rechargeable 5,000 milliamp battery. The fan is 5 volt, 0.1 amp. Projector technology is DLP. Lamp is RGB LED. The brightness is 80 ANSI luminous. The resolution is 480p max to 720p backslash 1080p. So it is HD projector. The backslash 1080p that is full HD. I guess it depends on your Wi-Fi connection, et cetera, but it says 480p max to 720p backslash 1080. Displayable colors is 100% NTSC color gamut. Contrast ratio is 1000 semicolon one. Throw ratio is 1.19 semicolon one. Aspect ratio is 16 semicolon nine. LED life is 25,000 hours. Micro USB is power DC 5.2 volt 2 amp. So that was a mouthful, but those specifications might be very important to you guys. Now let's fire it up and take it for a run. All right guys, I have the projector plugged in and it is charging here. And again, we have an LED light on the top there, which is red currently. And my guess is that will turn green when the projector is fully charged, ready to go. But I'll keep my eye on it just in case. All right guys, when the device is finished charging, instead of going green, the red light just turns off and that means it's fully charged. Alrighty guys, after the battery is charged, now without a cord, again, I'm completely cordless right now. We got a little blue LED light right there. I got it on the tripod and I'm shining it on my TV here. And of course it will be brighter on an actual projector screen or a flat white wall type of a thing like that. And again, I do have a light on right behind my shoulder just so that this video is not completely dark. So just know that it depends what surface you're light on. And again, if you cut all the lights, then again, that will be a little bit brighter right there. Or again, the closer you get, what not doesn't matter. But again, it's for a small projector unit. I believe it's only putting out 80 lumens. So that's something to keep in mind as well, guys. But as we can see here, here is the menu here, a really cool menu. And I'm gonna walk you through a few little features here of the camera. Now, again, I paired it up to my iPhone 6 while I was testing this. And again, we have the remote control. So let me show you a few things. Now, again, with the iPhone right over here, we're gonna look at the menu right over there. And again, you gotta point the remote control on the back of the device here. And we're gonna cruise over here to iOS Mac. And again, it shows you directions for hooking it up to iOS or Mac. Again, Android DLNA 
windows, and then connect to Wi-Fi. So all the directions are on here and you do have a couple of capabilities of doing it here. But let me just show you real quick. Let me, let me push OK here. And the remote control kind of needs to be right behind it. So you can't really go at an angle of it. It kind of has to be right behind the device here. Anyway, as we can see, there's a reflection of the projector in here. So I'm just kind of giving you guys a little bit of a little run through here. Now, a couple things you can do. This is the Mac method one, or of course the iOS. Uh, but you can, of course, Directly connect it via Wi-Fi. Here's iOS right here. Here's method one where you have the device directly connected to the projector and then to the, your Wi-Fi router or you can connect both and run an airdrop type thing, you know, just like the Apple TV. Again, I have it connected. I have the device, the projector connected to my Wi-Fi and then you want to go ahead and run it over to your phone. It's all in the directions, guys, so don't worry about that. But let me run you through a couple cool little features. Here's the settings menu, guys. And here in the settings menu, we see Wi-Fi settings. That's where you would put in your Wi-Fi information right here. Brightness, you have low or high. Online upgrade and then about the device here. So let's go ahead and head back here and let me show you a few little things here as we connect. There is a battery indicator light right up here on the menu and of course the micro SD card menu right there. All right guys, for this segment of the video, I wanted to switch it over and kind of give you more of a better shot here. As we can see, the projector is set up on my little balcony area here on my entryway. And what we're doing is we're shining it down here. Now the, the lamp is gonna get in the way a little bit right over here, as you can see the shadow right here. But now we kinda look at a very, very nice bright screen there. Again, right now we are on the high setting and it's gonna do a very nice job. It would be cool if it was a little bit brighter, a little bit more sharper, but again, the, there's still lights on in the house as you can see up around here. You can tell that there's lights on. I'm gonna go ahead and cut all the lights and we're just gonna give this a quick test, see if that brightens up a little bit more. Alrighty, there we go guys, very nice and sharp. Again, because of the only 80 lumens, it's gonna be very, very dark in the room for it to pop that much. Now again, that wall, you're looking at a pretty massive little projection there. That's probably easily, I wanna say 90 inches projected. And again, we have a curved portion of the roof right here. That's why it's a little prescrewed there at the top. But that is easily 90 inches easily right there from this distance. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flip the lights back on. Now again, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and connect and I wanna show you the video capabilities and then I wanna show you what it sounds like on the actual speaker of the unit and then we're gonna go ahead and plug in an external speaker as well. So on the remote control again, I'm gonna hit AirPlay because we're gonna be doing, of course, iPhone. And so here we go right here. We're gonna make sure it's utilizing right there as we can see, watch this right over here. And it's gonna take just a second here because it's gonna remember my information. And then it'll say utilizing, connecting, et cetera. Just again, make sure that your Wi-Fi is on on your iPhone as we can see right there, the world pop up. And again, it definitely takes a little bit of time. There we go there, guys, all right. Now we're looking good right there. So now we're gonna go ahead and hit AirPlay on my phone again. We're gonna go ahead and mirror again, just like I showed you earlier in the video. And here we go right here. Here's my AirPlay menu. And then of course here we are right here. You're looking at a massive projection of my phone. Again, mirroring everything here. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at a video there. I was watching a Vanity Fair YouTube video. Let's see what we got going on here. This is, but again, the only problem with YouTube, there's no sound coming out of the projector right now. Even with an external one, unfortunately, there's no projection sound coming out. That's kind of a bummer. Let's go ahead and pause that. All right, guys, here is AirPlay of a little video I took on my iPhone. So again, here we go right here. Here's the uh, speaker here. I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet for a little bit. Now, this is the only problem, again, with direct AirPlay. See, this is the only problem right here, guys, as we can see here. It always buffers like this. Anyway, a decent speaker, guys. All right, guys, now what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna show you my external speaker here, and we're gonna go ahead and power it on. It's a UE Boom. You guys are probably familiar with these. And again, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna put my AUX cable in the back here. Set it up like this here, and then we're gonna slip in our AUX cable on our device right here. Now again, I'm gonna be using AirPlay again, so it unfortunately has a little bit of a buffer issue, but you guys can see the difference between an external speaker. So as I'm gonna play it over here, I'm gonna kinda of get an angle on the UE speaker as well. So let's go ahead and play 
another video again on my phone and let's go ahead and try uh, that one again and see what happens. Again, it has a little bit of a buffer issue sometimes, but you know, uh, you guys will get the idea here as that plays there. Let me go ahead and we'll turn this up and I'm not sure how loud that is, but we'll find out. Let me cut the lights again. Anyway guys, what I was gonna say was- Here we go. Completely head to toe drenched. I felt like I just got out of the shower. Definitely, as we can see there, Unfortunately, be careful about going into hot yoga right off the bat. Last 15 minutes, I literally felt all my energy leave and I became a little bit overheated to the point where I, oh. So you guys can see the picture, guys. That sounds great right there. Get your UE speaker right there, pump it up. Again, it doesn't have to be this expensive of a speaker. You can do a smaller one if you want, but again, AUX directly in the back of it to your speaker and that does a fantastic job. Now it will only play that speaker, it will not play both, and then if I remove that cord, then again it would just play out of the small speaker on the projector unit. It does a fantastic job, guys, but the only con that I've found so far now, again, that might be because of my buffering and because it's hitting the cell phone and then going to the projector, but my AirPlay always kind of buffers and then it stops and that's kind of annoying sometimes. But I was watching a Facebook movie yesterday and that didn't seem like it had any issue. And lastly, guys, again, here is my iPhone's camera roll projected on there. And again, this would be really cool to show your family your pictures. So like I would just scroll on that one. There's some Velveeta, there's some Tapatio, there's uh, you know, some funny photos. There's Uncle Rico right there. Take a look at that, huh? Uncle Rico again, I'm just sliding. Let's see if there's any lag here. I'm a sliding, boom, that's pretty good, guys, right there, huh? Uncle Rico, sushi. There's my wife right there. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Let's see if we can get a phone call over this guy here. Hold on one second here. Haha, <laughs> you're projected on the big screen. This phone call is going live. Well guys, definitely a cool, cool little projector, especially mirroring, that's really awesome. Now a couple things that I did experience when I was using the mirroring, I would like hit the home button and change between apps, and sometimes it would actually disconnect from mirroring. It wouldn't be like going over to the home screen and then going to Facebook. So sometimes there's a little bit of miscommunication, so I would actually have to go scroll up I would have to go back and push mirroring on and off again, hit done, and then it would reconnect again. So some apps, if you're going back and forth quickly, it might time out on you and you might go back to the setup screen. So that's just something to keep in mind as well. But definitely a cool little tripod. Again, I use that on my little top shelf there. Again, swivel around the legs, rotating head, etc. Overall, very cool. You can use this like on a campsite if there was like if side of your RV home, you know, had a little like plain wall or you can shine that. Again, shined on the TV wasn't that good because obviously the screen, but on the walls when it's completely dark, very, very nice guys. So definitely a cool little projector. Now again, if you wanna get your hands on it, look in the description box below the video and you're gonna find a link for this exact same product where you can pick it up yourself. And if it's available in the UK, I'm gonna link for you guys down below as well. And also subscribe to the channel. I got a lot more reviews in the books, a lot more products being sent out to me. So stay tuned so you're always up to date with the next product I'm reviewing. My name is Chris, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.